giants on the mother road? You bet. In this video, we embark on an exciting journey to explore the iconic giants, also known as muffler men, that dot historic Route 66. So fasten your seatbelts and let's hit the road. Welcome back, fellow travelers and history buffs. I'm Scott, and you're watching The Asphalt Archaeologist. Well, they are big, they are unique, maybe even a little foreboding, but definitely American in every sense. I'm talking about the muffler men, and there are 12 of them scattered all along Route 66. That's a lot of giants to go over. So in this episode, which is going to be our first two-parter, we're going to cover the first six of these enormous oddities and never even leave the state of Illinois. Also, stay tuned to the end, because there we're going to tell you about a special group that is creating new muffler men and restoring the old ones as they go. And without further ado, here we go. So before we move on, you may be wondering exactly what a muffler man is. These are big fiberglass and steel giants, often looking like Paul Bunyan. They have outstretched hands, often holding an item, such as an axe, a hot dog, a rocket, or as was the case with the majority, a big muffler. Standing between 10 to 30 feet tall, they towered in front of restaurants, grocery stores, and of course, muffler shops. Here we go. Our first giant is right out of the space age, located in the little town of Wilmington, Illinois, just out of the Chicagoland area. The Gemini giant, probably the best known giant on the route, resides here. He's an amazing sight in his green spacesuit, holding a rocket in his hand. In 1965, John and Bernice Korlick paid $3,500 for this fella. Adjusted for inflation, that's about $40,000 today. That's a lot of money for this 24-foot-tall astronaut. Back in the car to our next stop, which is in Normal, Illinois, where if you're in the mood for some great ice cream and good food, you'll want to stop in at Carl's Drive-In and check out Carl, their gigantic soda jerk, holding a giant ice cream cone in one hand and a hamburger in the other. This guy's got a grin on his face It says he's ready to serve you. Carl is actually not one of the classic muffler men, but a total new creation installed in 2016. You gotta admit, he has a bit of retro charm. The next muffler man sighting is in Atlanta, Illinois. Atlanta, Illinois is a great small town along Route 66 with a very special transplanted icon of sorts. The muffler man holding a hot dog? Our friend Big Paul Bunyan used to be on the roof of Bunyan's Hot Dogs in Cicero, Illinois. When the owner of the hot dog store decided to close shop, several small towns vied for this guy, but Atlanta won out in the end. He's lived on Arch Street since 2003, welcoming visitors to this great little town. In 1962, Russ Lewis of Springfield, Illinois, decided the one thing that his tire business needed was, can you guess it, was a giant that everybody would remember, right? Well, this poor guy didn't have a job there long and then he ended up at a restaurant, which also closed. Sometimes it's just hard to find good work. Once again, our big happy giant was moved. While he looks like he might have his entire act together, this poor guy lost his head to a tornado just a few years ago. Although you can see that he's been lovingly restored and looks better than ever. Now, if you head on to Livingston, Illinois at the Pink Elephant Antique Store, this location could be categorized as the most bang for your buck if you're looking for muffler men. Also let it be known that this is the only place on Route 66 that you're going to find a muffler woman. Here stands what may be one of the last Uniroyal Tire Gals, originally intended as an advertising gimmick for the Uniroyal Tire Company. Standing across from her on the other side of the door is the Beach Boy. He's slightly taller than his female counterpart, coming in at 26 feet. But wait, there's more. Out in the field on the south side of the building is another giant who was repainted as the Harley Davidson Man, little old Livingston. Who would have known that you'd have three giants in your little town? As I was making this video, it seems strange that Illinois had so many of these giants. It almost seems like muffler men are second only to Honest Abe in the land of Lincoln. Well, as we promised in the beginning, we want to take just a moment to mention a group of people called American Giants. 
This group is completely dedicated to the restoration of existing muffler men and women all across the U.S. Not to mention the fact that they have begun producing their own muffler men as well. Hats off to these great people and what they're trying to do to restore the history of the muffler men. And now we've reached the end of our video. Have you enjoyed it so far? If so, please leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and your suggestions for new videos on this channel. Until next time, road trippers, 